It's that time of the year. It's that time of the year for giving gifts. If you know somebody who likes to RV or loves to travel, this is the day to check out my picks for stocking stuffers 2016. And what do you get people who love to RV or are planning on a trip sometime coming up in the next year or the next couple of months? What if you want to support somebody who has a dream to go out and do this and travel? I'm going to show you what my favorites are that I bought on the road this year when we were traveling. First, we're going to start with the stocking stuffers. First thing that I have on my list is that I bought this at Walmart and what this does is you put this over your coffee cup, you put the filter in here, you put your coffee grounds in here and basically you boil your water in the kettle and then you just pour it in there so you have a drip coffee with very little space so after you're done you just throw out the filter and you just put this down like this collapses and you can store it away. That's a great little thing to get. So you don't have to carry around a big giant coffee machine. The next thing that I like is command strips. These I love. These are really nice. Um, if you know somebody who's going to be RVing too, you might want to get the big packs for them. And they can go ahead and, um, and, and get Velcro as well. You can also get rolls of Velcro for them. They're going to be needing that when they go on their own. Another thing you can also get is museum putty. You can find that on Amazon. Museum putty is great. Like for instance, some, some of the things in my RV, I have, I have them attached with museum putty so that I don't have to be re removing them every time that I travel. Uh, another thing that I love is, this is like a sewer wrench. So what this does, if you're traveling and you're gonna be, at, you're gonna be dumping at dump stations, you're gonna be able to have a wrench that's gonna be able to open all sorts of different types of sewer covers. And this one seems to work, it's got, different kind here so it fits this kind it also fits this other kind and then it also hit fits the one that has the slit it's just a slit so you put this in the slit and then you turn it this is probably around six or seven dollars I know it's no more than ten dollars so you can get this on Amazon I think Camping World also sells it but this is something that I wouldn't think to have gotten and I, I just got this recently so I really love this because a lot of dump stations um, you need a tool like this, especially for a woman, because some of the I can't really open them, so I need a tool to open them with. So this was a great thing. These little things that I bought at Walmart, and they come in a pack of three, little drain things. And you can get them in a pack of two, but this one I had in my um, RV in the travel trailer. I can't use them in my truck camper because they use a different kind. These are about, I'd say probably two dollars, three dollars. Food doesn't get in there, you get all smelly and stuff like that, hair. I love this. This was great too. Another thing that I bought, I got these from Amazon and the reason I bought this, this is for washing uh, dishes and it's like a nylon and this dries overnight and I didn't want a smelly sponge in my RV. I don't like that. So I've been using this actually for almost a year now at home and, and I have one in the RV. Um, this is an extra one. It comes in a pack of three. My one that I'm using at home still have it. You can launder these. These are great. What I do is I fold it and I wash my pots and pans and my dishes with these when I have water. And then I just rinse it off and all the food comes off and I don't have some smelly sponge that's got moldy and um, germs and bacteria. This I can actually wash and I can put this in the laundry too every week. So I love these and I'll link the information below um, where you can get these on Amazon because I really do love them and they have them in different colors. Okay the other thing that I love is also this little this little gadget that I bought at Walmart and I bought actually two of these in order to save water. This thing is great. This is probably about six dollars at Walmart. It saves about 30% of your water, it will save a lot of water and this works great. The other thing that I love, which I didn't get to use on the road, but is, I did use it at home, is this silicone bag. And this is a kneading bag and I got this on Amazon and bake bread in here. So what you do is you put in all your ingredients in here, you close it up with this um, tie and then that way you can actually knead without making a mess in your kitchen with the flour. Yeah, and that's all you do, put it to the side, let it rise. It's easy to wash, it's silicone. For kneading, this is awesome for bread. This is a great tool because I don't 
need to have like a big flour board or anything like that. This winter I'll be doing some recipes with and I'll be using this. What I want to show you is this lid that I love. I got this at Target and I guess some of the places have it too but this is a necessity when you have different sized pots and you only want to have one lid because I can fit the smaller one, the medium size, I think the 10 inch and the 12 inch fit in here. So this was a Target, this was about $10. One lid for all your pots, which is great. I love this, this is great. This is a great thing to give somebody. Sometimes they don't even think about these things, but these are handy things. Oh, to Mister, this came in really handy when we broke down. We were able to cool our pets with this. So if you could see what it does, it's, it, it, it just, it's mist, you see? It just mits. oh, it's so nice. If you're hot, if you're hiking, this is a great thing to have. I bought this one at Walmart. You can get these on Amazon, but at Walmart, these were probably under $10. I'd say probably around $8. Open it like this too, and you can pour some water in for your dogs. And you can pull your dogs off also if they're hiking with you or if they're in a hot car or at the beach or something like that. I love this. And it has this little strap here, so you can strap it onto a backpack or to a belt. This is the O2 Mister, which I love also. This is great. Ropa has come in really handy for me because I have a compressor for my tires. And in order for me to use it with the regular AC, this is the female, see? So then I could plug that in here and put air in my tires with a regular um, AC connection. So this has been awesome. Plus, I could also use it to convert um, any power uh, equipment that I have. Which leads me to the next thing, which is the Rotec oven. And you haven't seen my video in Texas yet because I haven't posted it yet. This is the Rotec oven. A lot of truckers use this and they're familiar with it. And I was uh, cooking in this on our trip. So you'll see some videos. When I start posting the videos, you'll see me actually cooking in this. And this, this thing I love because um, I can heat things up in here. And I can run it off DC, which I have here. Or I can run it with the Ropal on electric and have it plugged in here and run it off of that. So this has been really great. I love cooking in it and I will be doing cookie recipes this year with this as well and we'll be using this on the road. Okay, the next thing that I also think is a necessity is a battery charger. And this one I got at Harbor Freight when we were traveling. And this one will actually charge your D, your C's, your A's, your 9 volt. They'll charge everything. This one's about, I'm going to say about $10, $12 if you carry around rechargeable batteries. Uh, a must have. One item does it all. So I love this too. Okay, this is the um, the Thunderbolt magnet. The other thing that I love too is these bags are 99 cents in IKEA. And the reason I bought this is because these are great bags for laundry, laundry bags. Um, I have some of those dollar pop-ups, but those dollar pop-ups they always break if you haven't put a lot of stuff in this. But these are so sturdy; they're like tarp material, and they clean up really well. So for laundry, they're nice and flat, and you can put your laundry in here. The other thing that I love about this when we were on the road is firewood. If you're on the road collecting firewood for your campsite, boondocking somewhere, these bags are great for that because you can bring them along with you into the woods and just put your smaller sticks and stuff in here or whatever. And I have two of them, one for me and one for Christian. We put our laundry in here, and if we're boondocking or somewhere we need to get wood, we can all use we can also use uh, one of them for that so 99 cents you can't beat that that's, that's a great price for that this is an essential thing if you want to give somebody the gift this is the gift that you want to give them this one is my 2016 which i still use the 2017 is out now it's been out for a while so this is definitely something that's essential most people don't think about it they have a gps but i could tell you that even with the gps on the road full timing we had had to use this several times a lot of times to plan and make sure we were doing the right thing. GPSs do make mistakes and sometimes you really have to see where you're going um, in order to see the big picture of how you're traveling where you're going. So I paid $6.97 for this one. I think this year they were a little bit higher but under $10 so that's a good deal right there. Anyway, another thing that I do use on the road is this stuff. I bought this at Amazon. Been looking this looking for a good brewer's yeast for years now. Sasha had a skin infection. She's had it for years and she has like the smell on her. Ever since I've been giving her this, she doesn't have it anymore. And they didn't pick up any fleas. Everywhere we went, they didn't pick up any fleas. And I was surprised about that because I really thought they were gonna pick up fleas at some point, even in the woods. This is like a repellent. I mean, I've heard a lot of people talking about it and stuff like that. I didn't believe it, but I believe it and I give it to them still now. So this, I think, is awesome if you give your dogs 
Probably if you have a bigger dog, you give them one teaspoon. I give them half a teaspoon because they're small dogs. So this will be linked below as well for Amazon. This is my happy planner. I got this on the road when we were traveling because once I had to file the claims and all of that stuff that I had to do, plus the homeschooling with Christian, everything got crazy, crazy, crazy. And my mail was coming in and there was stuff in there that I have to, had to get done. And I just didn't have like a desk and a place where I can put my stuff because I was back in the back. So I've been using this even when I'm not on the road. This has been a lifesaver because I, I can actually manage my life through this thing, my travels. I can put all my work here. This is what it looks like. And I know that some people have done this for women. For men, you can use the ARC planner, which is great. Because what I love is, I'll show you back here. I don't have anything written down back here. But um, I love the ARC planners because you can just take the page right out. It's not even a loose leaf. You can just pop them out and pop them in. And what I love about this planner is that I can actually take this on the road and I can actually put pictures in here and stuff of our trip. So I will be showing you that because I haven't done the pictures yet, but I have the little printer for printing. I'll be showing you some of the things that I was doing and the reason why I bought this. This is basically my inbox for everything and my planner. So having this, I know it's big and bulky, but this doesn't work for me. Because meal plan in here as well. You really can't have like an office box. Having something like this keeps all my stuff organized, all my stuff in one place, and it's really helpful. If you're gonna need firewood or to get firewood, you also need to have an ax with you. Guys, that's my choices for this trip. There's more stuff out there, but this is stuff that I've been using that I felt that I needed to get when I was on the road. So stay tuned guys because I got a lot more videos coming up and you're going to start to see during this holiday because I'm going to be traveling again. I'm going to be finishing up on the Miami trip and then I'm going to start posting again the trip with uh, Mike that we did this summer. There's a lot of footage that you haven't seen. The last video that you saw was the one in Louisiana. The next couple of videos we're going to be going into Texas and then we're going to be heading on up. Be bringing you in sequence throughout the trip. Um, have a Merry Christmas. Hey guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up because it would sure help me a lot with YouTube if you did that. I appreciate all of your comments. Welcome them. Thank you so much for subscribing and liking and Merry Christmas to everybody. Bye.